Mommy, tell me a story. Once upon a time in a land far, far away, there was a little girl named Emily Elizabeth. She had long blonde hair and bright green eyes. She loved her little sister very much, even though she could be a pain sometimes. She was very smart and very happy. Every day she woke up and said hello to the sun. Hello, Mr. Sun! And the sun smiled down on her and she was happy. Everything was great until people started being more happy to see Emily's little sister than to see her. She knew she had to be nice to the baby, so she decided to go on an adventure. On an adventure, no one would be more happy to see her little sister than her, and Emily wasn't worried about anything. She could adventure forever. The next morning, Emily Elizabeth packed up her bags. She brought along her teddy bear, kitten, and a bucket of tea. The teddy bear was to sleep with at night, and the kitten to walk by her side, and the bucket of tea was in case she became thirsty. Hello, Mr. Sun, said Emily Elizabeth. Because Emily was too busy making sure she wouldn't spill her tea, she didn't even notice that the sun was too busy worrying that she was leaving to smile down on her today. Emily took a left, then a right, and then two lefts. Before she knew it, she was lost. She didn't know where she was coming or going. She went to get a drink of her tea and realized she had spilled it all while she was walking. Oh, I am a very smart girl, she thought. I can do this. She closed her eyes, turned in a circle, and when she opened her eyes, she was facing the ocean. That's as good of a place to go as any, she thought. Emily traded her kitten for a ride in one of the boats, and she sailed around the world. She became very lonely, and she was glad she had her teddy bear for company. Two weeks later, Emily recognized the shore outside the boat. Holding firm to her teddy bear, Emily jumped off the boat. The whole world turned upside down. The bubbles swirled around her head, and in that second she could see each of her worries trapped inside the bubbles. There was her fear that everyone loved her little sister more than her, and her fear that her kitten was gone forever, and her fear that she would never get back home. She kicked her feet hard, and her head went above the water. The bubbles were gone, and so were her troubles. Her head was finally clear. With one hand clenched tight onto her teddy bear, Emily Elizabeth swam to shore. On shore, she found her bucket. But now, instead of being full of tea, there was her little kitten curled up in the bottom. She put her teddy bear in with the kitten to keep him company. Arms wrapped around the bucket, Emily Elizabeth started home. She noticed a tan stain making a path on the sidewalk. Remembering how her tea had once stained her good white dress, Emily decided that this must be the tea she had spilt on her adventure to the sea. She knew at once that this was the path she had to take at home. Soon, Emily recognized where she was. Two rights, a left and a right, and Emily was home. Hello, Mr. Sun, Emily Elizabeth said. She was so happy to be home again, she did not even have to look up to see that the sun was smiling back at her. Good night, Emily Elizabeth. I love you. But she's back again You got me now and cruise along country mile And we sure did miss your sweet, sweet smile Tell your tales of wonder Let them fill my empty 